I'm Michael Lazell with Inonic. This video tutorial will cover the Wireframe app for Inonic XP. First I'll explain what Wireframe is all about, then I'll show you how to install it, and finally I'll build a demo site using all the features that the Wireframe app has to offer. The Wireframe app is a tool for designers and businesses to quickly prototype a new site and experiment with different layouts, page structures, and sample content directly in Inonic XP. It has part components to fill pages with sample content, including breadcrumbs, headings, galleries, images, maps, text, and videos. A demo wireframe site will be created when the app is installed, so let's get started. First, you'll need to log in to the admin console. Then, open the Applications tool. Click on Install. Scroll down until you see the wireframe app and click the install button. When it's done downloading it will start up automatically. Now the Acme Wireframe demo site can be previewed in the Content Studio. This should give you an idea of what's possible with the Wireframe app. All these things are customizable and responsive. I'm going to create a new site now to show you how easy it is to create your own mockups. First I'll go to New and create a new site content. I'm going to call this one Acme Inc. And I'm, I need to add the wireframe application. And it's red because there is a required field in the app configuration. It looks like the name is required. And the footer, I'll just paste in some footer text. The social icons, most websites have social icons. I'll go ahead and add these. And uh, show navigation footer, sure, why not? Now the next step is to add a page controller and there's only one page component here, the default one. And you'll notice that this default page component has just the site title, the menu button, and the footer. So this is just the basic framework of a page. This empty spot here is where I'll be placing all the demo content. I think this footer would look better if it was centered, so I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'll just highlight the text I want to center, alignment and center. That looks better. Okay, let's get started with filling out this page. So the first thing I want to do here is add a layout. And I'll add a one column layout. There are four layouts to choose from, from one column to four columns. By adding a one column layout, all the sample content will be held within the width of this layout here. So all the layouts have the option to make them full width. If full width is checked, then the content will go all the way to the edges, to the edge of the screen but I don't want full width, so I'll uncheck that. Now I'll insert a part for a sample image. And when you add a sample image, you can give it a label, a caption, and you can control the aspect ratio, going all the way from cinema to tall and skyscraper. I'll go with cinema. And you could even make this link to another page, but we don't have any other pages yet. So when I apply these changes, now you can see where the label appears and where the caption would appear. Now I'll add another layout. And this time I want it to be a two column, or actually I'm going to go with a four column layout here. And again, I could choose to make this full width, but I uh, don't want to. And the column configuration, there's only one configuration option, that is for each column to be 25% width. Now each of these columns could represent some section of the website, so I'm going to insert a part for sample text. And now I can configure how many words of sample text I want. Let's try 100 words and apply that. And this column is a bit taller than I'd like, so I'll cut this down to 50 words. And there you go, this automatic lorem ipsum text. So I want to add some of this into each column, so I'll just duplicate. And then I'll drag and drop.
And now I'll add some sample images above this. It might look nicer that way. So I'll insert a part for sample image. Drag it up to the top, and I'll duplicate this as well. And then I'll just drag this over where I want it. Now this looks like a decent start to a home page, so I'll go ahead and save this. And now I'll make another page. How about a page for About Us? So I'll make a new landing page, and I'll name it About Us. And I want this to appear in the menu, so I'll check this box. And if I wanted the name in the menu to be different from the page title, then I would put in that different name here. But this will work for now. And now I need to include the default page component again. And the first thing to do is almost always going to be uh, within a layout. So I'll add a one column layout. And now I'll add a part for breadcrumbs. And I'll insert another part for heading. And the heading will automatically be the title of this page. And now I'll insert another layout. How about a two-column layout this time? And this two-column layout will have configuration for how wide you want the left and right columns. So I'm going to go with 50-50. And I don't want this to be full width, so I'll leave it at that. Now I'll insert on the left will be about the company, and on the right will be about the people. So let's insert something like maybe a video about the company, a sample video. And again, the sample videos can also have labels, and you can control the aspect ratio, and you can make them link to another page. But I'll just leave it at that. And on the right side, I'll insert a part for a sample gallery. It might be a picture of the each employee. And we can also add some text. So I'll add a part for sample text. And this uh, maybe 100 words would look better in this wider column. That's nice. And now I'll drag the video up to the top. And it'll do the same thing over here. Let's insert a part for sample text and give that 100 words. Now you'll notice when I'm adding text here, I'm, I'm doing it as a part. I'm inserting a part with sample text, because if I go straight to the text component, then I'll have to type in the text myself. And if I do that, then I can format it however I like. I think I'll make this into uh, H3 and drag this up to the top there. And I can uh, then duplicate this and drag one to the other side. And this one will say uh, meet the team. OK, so this looks like a decent About Us page. I'll go ahead and save this. And let's make another page a contact us page. But this time, you'll notice pretty much every page is going to have the breadcrumbs and the title, the heading here. So let's make a template first. I'm going to make a new page template that has the heading and title. That way I won't have to do that with each new page that I create. And I'm going to make it support the landing page content type. So then I'll go ahead and add the default component, page component, and I'll insert one column layout. And within that one column layout, I'll insert part for breadcrumbs. And I'll insert another part for the heading. And I'll go ahead and save this and close it. Now when I create the new page for Contact Us, with the new landing page, it will automatically use that template with the breadcrumbs and the heading, although you don't see the heading here until I give this page a name. And I want this page to appear in the menu as well. When I save it, now the heading appears. Now I'll customize this page, 
and uh, I'll add a two column layout. And this time I want it to be wider on the right. So I'll make this 30% uh, on the left and 70% on the right when I click apply. You see the column widths uh, take shape here. On the left, I will insert a part for sample text. And I'll give this uh, 50 words. And this might be an address. And on the right, I'll give this a part for a sample map. And when you add a map, you can also give it a label and you can change the aspect ratio. I'll leave it at widescreen and you can make the map link to another page. Now we actually have a couple more pages, so I could pick one of those, but uh, there's no need here. So a Contact Us page might also have a form, so I'm going to insert another part, this time for a sample form. And I need to configure this form so something will show up. I'll add a row input for the label is going to be like maybe email and then maybe a uh, you know message and I'll change this so there are a few input options so I'll go with text area for the message and apply that so there's a sample form and I'll save this page so something else uh, I could add here maybe an article list a lot of websites have something like an article list so I'll make a new landing page and this should also appear in the menu and now I'll insert a layout and I'll make it a two column layout and again I want it to be wider on the right than the left I'll go with 30 percent and 70 percent hit apply in the left column, I'll insert sample images, so a part for sample image. And on the right, I'll insert a part for sample text. And I'll give this about uh, 100 words. That looks nice. I can simply duplicate the layout. and I can give this uh, however many articles I want on the page. So something interesting you can do here is you can make one of these articles link to another page. So I can make another page that would be an article show. So I'll take this article list, make a new landing page under it, and I'll make call this article show page. So this would be like clicking on the link in the article list. This doesn't need to appear in the menu so I won't check that box. Now as I customize the page I'll insert a layout like this uh, one column layout and at the top might have a picture. So I'll do a part with a sample image And I'm going to change this to cinema, just to make it a little bit shorter. And I'll add another part with sample text. And this time I'll do like 200 words. So that looks like a little paragraph of text. Might want to duplicate this a few times to look like a full article page. Go ahead and save this. And I'll go back to the article list page. I'll make this first article list image link to the article show page. In preview mode, you can see that clicking on the article list image now takes you to the article show page. By now, you should have a pretty good idea of what you can do with the wireframe app. This will save you a lot of time and money over sketching pages by hand. Like Enonic XP, the Wireframe app is free and open source, so find us on GitHub. Feel free to leave a comment or post questions on our forum. We look forward to seeing all the wonderful things you will create with Enonic XP.